ranking member of the Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs. In February 2011, the committee issued this report, a ticking time bomb on the Fort Hood attack. Could the massacre at Fort Hood be prevented? Well, it's really painful for me to say, Catherine, but my conclusion after our investigation was that the massacre at Fort Hood could have been prevented. This is not a case where dots had to be connected in order to figure out that we had a serious threat. The dots were already connected. There was just a failure to act. The report states that although neither the DOD nor the FBI had specific information about the attack, they had sufficient information about Hassan's radicalization to violent Islamist extremism, but failed both to understand it and act on it. The report describes how, as early as 2003, Hassan's radical ideology was no secret to his fellow students in the army. His rhetoric was so alarming and so radicalized that two of his fellow officers described him as a ticking time bomb. He did things like uh, repeatedly told classmates and superiors that his devotion to Sharia law superseded his uh, devotion to the Constitution. That alone should have enabled him to have been dismissed from the military. Was there an episode Maybe it was the this, this slide presentation that he had. The fellow students were so alarmed by what they heard, they fled the classroom. Everybody in the class had to make a presentation. He chose to make a presentation, which was, to my way of thinking, effectively a justification of violent Islamist extremism. Just imagine, this is a residency training for psychiatrists. And what does he choose as his topic? He chooses to justify radical Islamic extremism. This was no secret among those who knew Nadal Hassan that he was radicalizing before their very eyes. There was more. He wasn't a good doctor. He was barely performing. He was counseled many times about the fact that he needed to improve. In one case it was documented he let a psychopathic patient escape from the emergency room. So this was not a high performing psychiatrist by any stretch of the imagination. It's known to the students and it's known to the supervisors, yet he keeps getting a pass. In fact, he keeps getting promoted. When we looked at his personnel evaluations, in many cases, they're glowing. Now, one factor, I think, is there was such a shortage of psychiatrists within the Army as a whole. And if you recommended that someone be disciplined when they were uh, desperate to hire more psychiatrists, in this case in the Army, people would have thought you were crazy. A second factor was the Army's promotion system. They have local files that track what people are doing within a command, and those files get thrown away when someone moves on to a new command. So your new commander has no idea what your history is, what concerns about you are. That's part of the promotion system. And the idea is it gives people fresh starts, but fresh starts allow insider threats to go undetected. Lieberman believes there was a third factor that kept Hassan's soldiers from exposing his troubling behavior and rhetoric. Some of them, I think, were worried about political correctness that if they blew the whistle on uh, this guy, that people would think they were anti-Muslim. Weren't there people who tried to speak up, but were silenced in the end? There were some students who complained, and their concerns were essentially ignored. This is a letter from the Defense Department that says they're dealing with Fort Hood in the context of workplace violence. I got to tell you, when I saw that letter, I, I first I, I laughed because it's so ridiculous. Then I got really angry. There's a problem in, in this government of ours where we refuse to call the threat what it, by its name, which is violent Islamist extremism. Fox Files contacted the Army to comment on the Nidal Hassan case. They have yet to respond. The Department of Defense has classified this, the shooting at Fort Hood, as a workplace violence. Do you agree with that? No, I think it's, I mean, almost a disgrace. It's, I mean, disgusting. To equate terrorism with workplace violence means that you are not confronting the problem.